Welcome to our Discovery Lab online videos. My name is Bethany Cheshire with the Outreach Division here at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. And today we're going to learn a little bit about the differences between white-tailed deer and reindeer. Let's get started. So this is the white-tailed deer from our collection here at the museum. White-tailed deer are mammal, which means they are warm-blooded, they have fur, and they give birth to live babies. And they're also herbivores, so they eat plants, berries, any sort of vegetation that they find along their way. Um, they weigh between 110 to 300 pounds depending, and they can grow to six, from 6 feet to 8 feet in length from shoulder to tail. Uh, they are the smallest member of the deer family in North America, and they can be found from southern Canada to South America. They live in forests and meadows, and they are primarily nocturnal, so that means they come out at dusk and they go back to sleep at dawn. That's why you see them mostly at night. Um, usually their coat is reddish brown in the summertime and it dulls and turns to a grayish brown during the winter. This is to help with camouflage. Males have antlers and they actually grow annually. They fall off during the winter time and they grow, start to grow back for the mating season uh, in the spring. Uh, females give birth to from one to three uh, babies a year and they give birth usually between May and June. They're pretty speedy animals. They can run up to 30 miles an hour and they can leap and jump pretty far and high. They can leap about 10 feet high in the air and about 30 feet long in distance. And once their population was depleted, we had hunted them to near, uh, to near vulnerability and our government started making mandates on hunting seasons to allow the population time to grow. Now our, now our deer population is very stable. So that's our white-tailed deer. So here we have a lovely reindeer hide. You can see it's this lovely brownish tan color. Um, reindeers are mammal, uh, which means they have fur and they give birth to live babies. They also are herbivores, so they eat plants, uh, leaves, anything that they can find in their areas. Um, they live up to 20 years domesticated. Now, here we'll talk a little bit about caribou. So caribou and reindeer are the same species, but they are actually subspecies of deer. So the same species, they're both deer, but they're also subspecies of that. Um, and reindeer are the domesticated version of caribou. And we only call them caribou here in North America. In other countries, they call them either wild reindeer or domesticated reindeer. So they're known mostly as reindeer. Caribou is kind of our thing that we call them. Um, Caribou lived about 15 years in the wild. Reindeer lived 20 years because they're domesticated. Their herd is what we call a group of reindeer. Um, and they are um, four to five feet uh, from shoulder to tail. And then they can weigh up to two, from 240 pounds to 700 pounds. So they're pretty heavy things, pretty heavy animals. Now caribou are vulnerable they're one step under endangered, and their population is actually decreasing. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about caribou and reindeer. Like we said, caribou are wild, so they are migratory, and they, they travel long areas and migrate, and they're wild. So they live out in the wild. They don't, we, they don't interact with us very often. Uh, reindeer are domesticated, they're work animals. And when we think of reindeer, we think of Santa and reindeer pulling his sleigh. And that's because reindeer are seen as work animals in the areas in which we, we find them. Um, reindeer are much stockier than caribou. They actually have evolved kind of that way. Caribou are, are bigger and more, they have longer legs, uh, but reindeer are stockier and their uh, they're, they're shades of brown are a little different as well. Uh, reindeer live about 40% of their life in snow. Um, so they're usually in snow and they have adapted, their bodies have adapted for this. They have cloven hooves, which means their hooves have a two, like a two part split. Um, and they have what, what is called hollow fur. So their fur traps heat and it's hollow, so it keeps the, that warm air. Um, and they're also very, very good swimmers. Um, and Red noses are actually something that we consider them to have. Maybe not really in color. We think of red as, as warm when we think of red noses on reindeer. 
That's because they have really interesting blood vessels that circulate around their nose and warm blood travels through their nose and uh, keeps their face and nose warm in the cold, frigid climate that they live in. Um, they are usually, they are hunted, uh, caribou, wild reindeer, are hunted for meat and milk, fur, and even their antlers, they're used to make tools in the areas where they're found. And like I said before, caribou are vulnerable, so they are um, declining and they're one step below endangered. So now that we've looked at both of our reindeer and our white-tailed deer, let's talk a little bit about their differences. So one is their habitat. Reindeer live in more cold regions and they're built for that. White-tailed deer live in forests and meadows and their areas don't get as cold. Um, their sizes are significantly different as white-tailed deer is the smallest form of deer. Uh, reindeer are significantly bigger. Um, and then there, some of their features are, are different too. So their fur is one thing. Reindeer, like we talked about before, have hollow fur. Um, their fur is built for insulation since they live in those cold regions. Their color is different too. Reindeer are usually a darker brown, lighter brown, they range between that. White-tailed deer uh, are between a reddish brown and a gray brown, uh, depending on seasons, because their fur will change color depending on the season. Their hooves are different in size, and a reindeer has a very, very special nose, which we talked about before. White-tailed deer don't have red noses. Uh, reindeer do, and really that just means that their nose has very special um, blood vessels that uh, when they breathe in cold air, heats up that air and uh, helps to keep their face warm. And then their antlers. The one special thing about reindeer is that both genders have antlers. Both female and male reindeer have antlers. And white-tailed deer, only the male have antlers. And lastly, they differ in human relation. Whereas we know that reindeer can be domesticated and are used as work animals, kind of like horses or mules or donkeys, uh, white-tailed deer cannot be domesticated. So mostly they're, for, uh, they're, as a, they're as a food source and hunting, and they're there to keep our foliage in check. Thank you so much for joining us today and learning the difference between white-tailed deer and reindeer. We hope to see you soon for the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History.